Today let's learn how a ramp pump works with the help of this animation. So we'll be showing the entire terrain of its working and also a close-up picture of how it exactly works. So watch the entire video to understand it. Ram pumps are actually used in uh, hilly areas where we have a source of water from uphill and we need to supply the water also to the uphill area. So here you can see if we have a pool of water from uphill and uh, the ram pump is over here which is located downhill and we need to supply this water towards a village or a house uphill so let's see how it actually happens the water comes into the ramp pump like this and it enters the ramp pump and we have uh, valves inside the ramp pump so you can see that valve or they get it getting closed and that valve is uh, the waste valve over there and it gets closed and the water enters the ramp pump over there and the pressure increases due to the gravity the flow of water from the pool uphill is getting into the ramp pump and the pressure increases inside the ramp pump which results in the water to move up so you can see the delivery valve opens up and the water moves upwards and it still continues to move upwards which pressurizes the air inside and due to the pneumatic pressure you can see it further get pressurized to a particular level and then that pressure acts back on the water so when it acts back on the water it pushes the water outside through the delivery uphill you can see the water is pushed uphill and this cycle continues and that's how uh, the water is being uh, supplied uphill so this is the process what's happening once after the water is been delivered you can see inside the ramp pump the pressure drops and as the pressure drops the valve opens up you can see the waste valve is getting opened up and the water is being spilled outside so when the water gets spilled outside the cycle continues so now let's see the internal working of the ramp pump in close up and identify the components so there's the ramp pump so that's the inlet where the water is coming inside due to gravity there's the waste valve over there then uh, we have the delivery valve that's the pressure chamber and that's the delivery pipe so let's see how it works so the water is entering from the pool you can see from the pool due to gravity water enters into the ramp pump and it closes the waste valve there so the waste valve is getting closed over there and due to the gravity and the pressure from the uphill of the pool uh, pressure is increasing inside the ramp pump as the pressure increases it opens up the delivery valve and water starts to move upwards you can see there and the, the air is getting pressurized pneumatic pressure is happening and to a limit it happens then that air exerts that pressure back towards the water you can see and that result in the delivery valve also to get closed and the water is being pumped outside you can see the water is being pumped outside due to this pressure which is happening pneumatically so you can understand that there is no external power is required for the functioning of a ramp pump here it just works due to the pressure from the uphill the water flows from the uphill to the gravity and the pneumatic pressure inside the pump result in its working and after a particular limit what happens is that the pressure drops when one delivery is happening the pressure drops inside the ramp pump as a result of this uh, the waste valve opens up and the water is being pushed outside so once the water is being pushed outside again water comes from the uphill the pressure increases and the cycle continues and that's how the water is again and again being pumped so I believe you got an idea about the working of the ramp pump. So that's how the cycle continues and the pump works continuously. And you can see the basic working principle that we can summarize is that momentum of the flowing water is used to pump the water uphill and there is no power requirement is there in a ramp pump. And the advantage is that no external source of power is required as I told you and less moving parts. So less wear and tear is happening inside a ramp pump. The disadvantage is less waste. It, it wastes a lot of water uh, as the waste gate opens or the waste valve opens. Water is being pushed outside so that fresh amount of water can be taken from the uphill to uh, develop pressure inside the ramp pump so that the next pumping can happen. So it's almost like 10% of the water is being consumed and the other 90 percentage is being wasted through the waste valve uh, in a ramp pump. So I believe you got an idea about its working. Please click the subscribe button for getting tutorial video updates. It's free. Please feel free to like, comment, share to motivate our team. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.